Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm here looking a little bit more summery. I'm not gonna lie, it's just because I didn't really wanna do my hair. We've all been here, I'm not the only one. But today I'm here with a haul video and I'm super excited to film this. You guys seem to love hauls, I'm loving filming them and it's summer. So we might as well experiment with our style, try out a couple of different items. So today I am gonna be testing clothing off of the website I saw it first. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of that. I have watched a lot of hauls from this brand. So I picked a couple of things from their website and I am very excited to show you them. Now, I am being quite experimental with the kind of things I want to wear, varying it up a little bit. So there are some quite random items in this. I'm just gonna let you know. But I think we're just gonna get straight on with it. Gonna do it as a try on haul because we all love a try on haul. But just before we do get started, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here because a lot of you guys watch these videos without being subscribed. So if you could subscribe, that'd mean the world to me. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with the like slightly more normal items and then I'm gonna branch into the a little bit out there. So this is the first item. Now this is a yellow box crop top. Now you might have seen one of these in Hannah's video recently. She has this, I think she had it in red. I ordered this in yellow because I felt the summer vibes and it looks a little bit like like a race track kind of print. Oh my god, wow descriptions. But yeah, this reminded me of like Formula One. <laughs> I literally don't even know. But I really like this and it is quite cropped. It's very short but it's like a boxy style and I think that with high waisted jeans that that is actually really flattering. So I got this and I'm gonna leave all of the items linked down below. So if you're interested in buying any of them then yeah, I don't have the prices to hand but Everything's linked below, so if you're interested, it's below, and they're all pretty affordable. I got this one in a size 8, so I'm just gonna try it on for you. Okay, so this is what the yellow top looks like when it's on. Now, I actually really like this. This is the first time I've tried this on, but I love the cut. It is quite cropped, but I don't think it's, like, too cropped for it to be, like, you know wearable on a day to day basis so I'm gonna give this like a solid 8 out of 10. It's very thin but I think that in a summer that that is actually really nice so yeah really like this. Definitely am a fan. So the second item is pretty difficult to show you without it being on because essentially it's just a piece of fabric until you're wearing it as a top but it is this absolutely gorgeous halter neck royal blue kind of top. Now if you've been watching my channel for a while you might know that I'm actually quite a big fan of halter neck style tops like they are the things that I reach for when I feel like I want to be like dressed up a bit more but comfortable because I just think that they actually suit me quite well. It took me a while to work out the kind of style of tops that do suit me and maybe maybe you don't think this does suit me but personally I just always feel like I'll look a little bit more put together when I'm wearing a top like this and I have one very very similar that I wore to summer in the city last year and I got loads of compliments on it and then I saw this on the website and I was like that's quite similar so yeah it is this gorgeous royal blue the print is like quite tribal very like summery I don't really know how to describe it and then it ties at the back now this is very like backless like literally it's just the front so wearing underwear with this is difficult but I'm gonna show you it on anyway because I just think it's so pretty and very affordable for how nice it looks when it's on. I got this in a UK size 8. Okay, so then this is how the halter neck top looks. Now, I really like this. I think that it feels and looks so much more expensive than it actually is. It comes really high up on your neck, so when you're tying this, it is quite, like, difficult to get it in the right position. And then this is what it looks like from the back. So, as you can see, this is, like, fully backless and... Uh, because of that it's because of that it is actually quite like difficult to get away with wearing underwear with it However, I think that you could pull this off because the material is obviously patterned um, And you can just like yeah, you can't really see through it at all So I really like this I think I'll give this like a 10 out of 10 because I'm so excited to wear it and I think that it looks really pretty Especially with like just jeans. It's like a casual but not casual outfit this pair of heels you got yourself a nice top and a pair of jeans which is like the hardest dress code in my opinion okay so the next thing might be a little bit more wintry however i literally couldn't resist when i saw this on the website it is this super v-necked very very cropped jumper now it's difficult to get a feel for what this looks like until it's on but i think that with a nice bralette this could be styled so so nicely like you could wear it off the shoulder or slightly off both shoulders or on both shoulders but really really low i think there's just loads of different ways you could style it and the reason I picked this colour is because it's actually really different like I never wear colours like this I never really wear mint green and I absolutely love the colour so yeah I thought that this would be really good for like probably more the springtime to be honest because it is quite woolly but 
yeah it's really nice it's like a knitted fabric it looks almost hand knitted like I'm presuming it's not but it looks like it could be so yeah I got this in a size small and I just think it's really nice I'm gonna show you it on because it looks a lot better on okay so then this is how I would wear this jumper now I would obviously wear this with a different bra I'd probably wear a bralette maybe one that came up so you could like see it however this is what the jumper fits like as you can see it's not like really cropped these are a pair of high-waisted jeans um, and then at the back it's just like a little bit longer it kind of sits on your waistband and I do think that this is actually really really pretty really good for like if you're working in the house or if you're not going out and you just want something casual and as I said you can wear it like this or you can kind of wear it like fully off the shoulders now I do think that this actually looks better like like this but again obviously I think it would be paired so much better with a bralette and it's surprising how warm this actually is because right now whew, I think that's my studio light, but yeah, really, really pretty. Love the colour. Yeah, they do this in a lot of different colours if you're interested. <laughs> okay, so this is where we start to get slightly more out there. Like, this is where I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to venture out of my comfort zone today. And I bought this pair of dark blue wash mom jeans right okay so i was gonna say i have a love hate relationship with mom jeans but i don't it's just a hate relationship so many of my friends look amazing in mom jeans or mum jeans whatever you want to call them and they wear them all the time and i see them around school and i'm like you look so good and then every time i try them on they just don't suit me i've tried on so many different pairs and i thought you know what maybe i saw it first is the place maybe this is the one however looking at these <sighs> I'm not sure. Basically, it's this pair of super ripped mom jeans. And I think the reason I don't like this is because, like, what is this? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, that is a huge rip. And some people pull that off, but I just, on me, I don't think I would. So they're kind of like, again, difficult to show without trying them on. I ordered these in a 10 and I think they actually look too big. Like this looks really wide. So I should have probably ordered these in an eight. Difficult to gauge online shopping and sizes. But I'm gonna try them on for you because it's difficult to describe. I think maybe, maybe with a belt, if you rolled them up at the ends, they could look okay because lengthwise, I. I think they'll be fine like gonna try them on for you and show you because I just wanted to push the bow out a bit Okay, so then these are the jeans now They don't look horrific on camera, but trust me in person They're just not that flattering and look like how saggy they are on the bum and how much room there is here like can you guys see how much room there is? Like, what? These are a size 10, and I am usually a 10 in jeans, so bear that in mind if you're buying these. I'm gonna try them on with a belt for you, so you can see, because you guys might be thinking, well, they look fine. Okay, with a belt, I do think these definitely look better, because obviously now they kind of, like, sit a bit better on my waist, but they're still, like, baggy, and I know that mom jeans are meant to be, but I'm gonna film to the floor for you guys. It is just really odd, like, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep them. I just don't know when I'll wear them. Also, this is, like, huge. Like, imagine the tan line. Okay, so the next item, if some of you guys have been super beady eyed, you might have already seen this because I've worn this to a party and I had it on my Instagram stories. This is a absolutely gorgeous bodycon pink plaid dress. Now, without it being on, it looks absolutely shapeless and it's also, it looks absolutely tiny, but this is so elasticated that there's so much give in it. When you put it on, it like fits your body shape perfectly. The downside to that is if you've had a lot to eat that day, it's not particularly flattering because the material is really thin which I think is why it's so affordable however I absolutely love the pattern of this dress I feel like it is a very much a clueless vibe I really hope you get that reference but yeah I got this in a size 8 and I thought I was being quite ambitious with an 8 because I was like oh I'm not too sure because like my hips my tummy like my like I don't know if that's gonna fit I think a 10 would have looked too big because it's like it's meant to be bodycon so I'm gonna try this on for you I have worn this already because I literally couldn't resist wearing it quite short very nice super easy to pair and also you can dress this up or dress this down so gonna show you it on okay so then this is the bodycon dress when it's on now as you can see it is pretty short i think what i love about this the most is the neck like this is an actual quite an unusual cut for a dress like the box cut and i think it does really like flatter your like i don't know your shape when it's cut like this if you've got like small ish boobs this is what it looks like from the side now you definitely can see your underwear through this like 100 percent so just bear that in mind obviously um, and I think they do do this in a couple of other colours I don't think that this is too short I think it's actually quite a nice length especially if you're going on like a night out or something so yeah gonna definitely recommend you this one okay I don't know where to go from here because each item of clothing is equally as out there so I think I'm just gonna like yeah I'm just gonna go with it so the next thing I got was another dress <laughs> This looks like a disco ball. Oh my god, right, okay. 
So I saw this on the website, and my friend Jenny has one of these dresses, and she looks amazing in it. I saw this one on the I Saw It First website, and I thought, yeah, I'll get it in pink, because that's cool. And I ordered it, and to be honest, I actually really like this dress. I think that to the right kind of party, or for the right occasion, that this is perfect. My mum was pretty explicit in saying that she didn't like it at all. When I got it out of the packet, she was like, Molly, what is that? So I mean, like, usually I don't wear stuff if my mum's like, don't like it because like you know her opinion but yeah maybe i'll just have to stand out on my own in this because like look at the light catching on that i think it looks cool look a little bit like a fish a little bit but um yeah i got this one in a size eight however it is actually a little bit big i think it's mainly just yeah i got this one in a size eight i'm gonna try it on for you the most annoying thing about this is can you hear that? Can you hear that? Okay, so this is the dress when it's on. Now, as you can see, I think it's actually really cool. Like, I think that as a party dress, this is definitely something that is a statement and a half. Like, you are going to be looked at wearing this. The only slightly annoying thing I've noticed is that it is actually really, really gapy. Like, it's quite big, which is actually a little bit odd, given that this is a size 8 and there is so much room here. But yeah, I mean, personally, I think that this is really cool. Like, you could definitely party in this. It is very like Love Island s. The back is like this, so yeah, that is all I've really got to say. The next thing is definitely something you'll have seen in the vlogs. I've had these clothes waiting to film this haul for about two or three weeks. So it is this blue denim jacket, very distressed, embroidered on the back, absolutely gorgeous. The quality of this is amazing. The denim is really thick, and it feels like so much more expensive than what it was. Um, and I have been using this all the time. I absolutely love it. I think it really like adds something to an outfit. I think you could wear like all black and then this and you just look like you've made an effort when actually it's all in the coat. I love, 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 love the embroidery on this. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to try it on, show you how it fits. And I think that this is something that you guys will really like. I have this in a size 10. Um, I bought it a little bit big because I think it just looks cooler that way. So yeah link down below to this if you're interested because I think this is so pretty. Okay, so then this is the denim jacket. Now, as you can see, from like straight on, it's just like kind of oversized. And then from the back, that is when you get all this funky embellishment. Now, I really like this. This is also my favorite way to style this dress. Personally, I just think that this looks really nice. Pair of heels. I have been wearing this all the time in my vlog, so if you've been wondering where it's from, now you know. Um, and I really like this. As I mentioned, I did get it in a size above what I would usually, just so that it is a little bit bigger. So the next thing, I haven't even taken it out of the packet. I was actually scared of this. Mainly because it stinks, right, okay? I ordered a black vinyl skirt. Now, you might have seen some really cool people wearing these. They're usually the kind of like indie, edgy, like, you know, people that are cool. Not me. I ordered this and I thought, yeah, you know what? Maybe I can pull this off. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. Probably never gonna wear it. Like, yeah, it's leather look. Obviously, it's not leather um, and it's like, kind of elasticated, it's definitely meant to be bodycon. And I think the main thing about these is they make your bum look great. Like these just like really flattering on your bum. What I hate about this is that it literally smells like a fish. Like this stink. I don't know what the material is. If I was wearing this, people would be like, ooh, what is that fish smell? because this stinks. I don't think washing it would help either. I think it is actually the fabric. Okay, so then this is what the skirt looks like. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do feel like this is so incredibly tight. It fully does suck my tummy in. Like, I'm not breathing in right now. Um, and it's like binding my stomach in. So that's like good. Um, as I said, it does make your bum look quite good. Like, the way that it sits, you can definitely see your knickers through it though. But the main point about this is that like, I don't think I'll be able to walk in it because you literally can't move your legs. And as I mentioned, it does smell. So, like, yeah, you guys can make your opinion up on what you think of this. But personally, this is just not really something I would ever wear. I don't really know. I think some people are cool enough to pull this whole outfit off. Personally, I don't think that that is me. I'm not going to lie. We're, we're not going to talk about that. The next thing, I am so in love with these. They're definitely out of my comfort zone. But I'm just obsessed with them. And I cannot wait for an occasion to wear these. How stunning are these? Like, how pretty are these? Now, I absolutely love high heels. Like, I really like them. I think they're an addition to any outfit. And I wish it was acceptable to just wear them a bit more. Like, not not high ones like not this all the time obviously but like just a nice pair of heels i can't really get away with it because whenever i wear any heels i become pretty much six foot and that is 
unfortunate, like most of my friends are tiny. I'll say this in every haul. But I ordered these anyway, and they are these really nice, gorgeous, chunky heeled platform closed toe shoes. Right, and these are one hell of a shoe. Like, you could do some serious damage with this. Like, the reason I love them is the addition of the pearls on the heel. Because I think if you had, like, an all-black outfit, that is an accessory, like, that really accentuates. And I think the reason I really like this is the platform is actually really, really big. So, like, the platform goes up to there. So it makes the heels only about like four inches. The actual incline of your foot isn't too steep. So yeah, I'm very, very surprised because I can walk in these and I can't walk in many high heels. Okay, so then these are the shoes. Now, I don't know how well you can see these, but I do actually really like these. I can walk in them, which is really rare for me. Um, obviously with these jeans, a little bit questionable, but I just think that the addition of the pearls on the back is so nice. The platform makes them actually quite comfortable to stand in, like, I'm not having any issues walking around in these, as you can see. So yeah, really like these. And then last, but not least, I ordered this bag. Now, there is a reason behind this, because I am going to Ibiza in, oh my god, next month. Like, a month. I'm going to Ibiza in a month. What the heck? You're not going to want to miss the vlogs. I keep talking about this, but I'm going to Ibiza. I'm going to Madrid. I'm going on holiday. Just, like, you're not going to want to miss this channel. Not to blow my own trumpet. But yeah, I bought this bag for when I go to Ibiza, because we actually are going to be going clubbing, and obviously, when you're clubbing, you don't want, like, a body bag, but you also don't want anything, like, in your pockets, necessarily, because that's really accessible and stuff for, like, pick pocket so I got this because I thought it was just so funky like is that not the coolest especially for somewhere like Ibiza or a festival I thought this was perfect and it's just like a zip pouch it's quite quite big um, you could definitely fit your camera and your phone in here, which is what I wanted it for. And they do this in several different prints and also different colours, so I really recommend checking this out. Clips around your waist, like different sizes, and I just thought this was so ideal for what I need it for, so yeah. So then this is like how you kind of wear this bag. Now I haven't put it through the loopholes, but I do really like this and I think that actually it's really useful. It's fully adjustable so you can alter it and really easy access. So basically everything that you need this for definitely worth the money because it's so affordable and the design very festival-esque that is actually the final item i hope you've enjoyed this try on haul i'm so aware that there are some really odd items of clothing in here but i just wanted to test a massive variety of things from the website see if it was worth the hype see what the quality was like and push my style a little bit so if you have enjoyed it be sure to smash the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as i've already mentioned and i will be back on thursday with a drive with me i'm sorry there wasn't one last week there will be one this week um and i'm excited to film it so yeah i'll be back then bye